Good evening. And Welcome to Mum, McLoon on Maui. Today's seminar number 15. It is uh, June the 6th. Kia ora all, and let's get going. Anyways, let's go back to the most important thing, the attempt to visualize the digital economy. That's the crux of the matter. And you could say that because we can't visualize it, we keep talking, we keep blogging, we keep typing, and that very inadequacy keeps the thing going because no one can get a uh, finish line. This is the service of having no finish line. Well, the, the disservice is when you realize it's not going anywhere. Well, no, you, the disservice is that there are a lot of people who can't handle living without a finish line. And that leads to fundamentalism. Uh, in what way? Leads to identity crisis where many of the other world's cultures, especially the... Um, Islamic world, they want it to end with a manuscript, and they see the great Satan offering a world that erodes the manuscript and provides a world with no finish line. They are literate enough to demand a finish line, and, and the Christian fundamentalists call it the uh, end times. They want to have a finish line too. Yeah, the book, the manuscript, and the text yeah. uh, provide a linear uh, time with a beginning, middle, and end. Yeah, they create the illusion of a beginning and end, and that uh, that collective meme is what's acting out on the planet. Yeah, you've got the right wing, the Christian right wing that came in with uh, Reagan, that supported Israel, came in at the same time. It's like the uh, the special deal made, the October surprise, the deal between the Iranians and uh, the Reagan cabinet, the secret deal that bypassed Carter, was a deal between the two memes. The uh, Islamic, you can maybe include the, uh, the Zionist or Judaic meme, and the Christian, the three of them cooperate to have an agon, an agony battle over uh, the end time, and let's have an end time. Yeah. And, and you know, maybe Brussels documented meme, that. The book meme continues to be a good counterpoint to the electronic environment. Why don't you say we have a book body? Well, that's the chemical body. What I call the physical body is uh, is what came in uh, with the telegraph, and that's the uh, information explosion, book book content, information, visual information. That's all chemical body the stuff. Whole visual space. Yeah, photograph, that's word, not formula. Away. It continues to struggle to maintain uh, some place of counterbalance with the electronic environment. Well, look at this quote from Counterblast, who said that we will be drowned in mountains of visual space as an antidote to the electric non-visual space. And so that's why he recommended turning off the media, not to get people reading more, but to stop the flood of visual space, which is just the counterdote, the antidote that people fill in, the book meme. That's, that's the ecology there. You get that? Let's not turn off, let's turn off TV, people would say, oh, so we can read more. No. So that we, that we can cut down the destruction of trees. Because the more electric environment you have, the more visual mountains of visual space you need to complement it. Now, you never heard that before, Scott, eh? Now, that's an essential McClone point that you only hear the tops down. Well, now, yeah, but are you putting that within the context of a previous period, or are you saying that's true now? No, no, that was true in the... Uh, in the 60s and 70s and 80s, and that's what the New York Times wrote on. But that's gone now. Well, the it's not. You still have the fundamentalists have a huge impact. Oh, no, yeah, but they're they're fading out. They're going to have 2012. After that, it's over. Next year is their last stand, and nothing will happen, and then they'll have to go home. Yeah, but, but then... It, no, 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 but it. listen, listen. We've got to the point with the Internet where the New York Times ain't able to do it anymore. We've yeah, gone so the, far the that the visual space of mountains... McLuhan said the search for identity creates uh, violence, and that violence is, is a retrieval of fundamentalism. Yeah, up to so now. That is waning. We had 40 years of mountains of visual space and, and of different kinds of fundamentalisms, even scientific fundamentalism versus New Age fundamentalism versus uh, right-wing, Christian, Muslim, Jewish. Buddhists, all these fundamentalism have clashed over the last 40 years. They're what McCroom called mountains of visual space that could have been diminished if you turned off television. But now that you've got these kids who grow up like uh, Scott Pilgrim, they are not involved with mountains of visual space. That's why finally the newspaper is finding a new identity of some kind. Otherwise, they're going to retrieve fundamentalism.
Uh, well, they, uh, that's a question about what they will find. But I'm saying the collapse of the New York Times and the major newspapers, that's the collapse of the solution of mountains of visual space to counter the electronic vortex. That's over. Newspaper finally gave up. Well, that we may be because of the, 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 the mystery landscape. Now. Yeah, we're moving the mystery landscape so the kids will rely on the chip body, not on the visual space. Well, see, now